Hello friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. In today's video, I'm going to be doing my latest Roundup review style video. These are all of the products that I tried in the month of September, and I'm here just to show you everything, give you my thoughts on everything, and yeah, just do a little recap. I really enjoy doing these kinds of videos. It's a really fun way for me to just kind of round up everything that I tried recently and just give you my full thoughts on everything and be very transparent on just what I've tried in general. As always, I'm never intending on being braggy with these videos. I'm very appreciative to receive any PR or gifts, but this isn't a way for me to be braggy. It's just a way for me to be very transparent and open and share with you my thoughts on everything. Before we get into it though, I feel like this might be a longer one, so I just wanna jump into it, but I did of course film this look. It should already be up on my Instagram and TikTok by the time this video goes up. And as far as my accessories go, these plugs are Love Kills Boutique. These little kitty earrings are from Undoubtedly Mad on Etsy. And this is the Jordan ponytail from insert name here. So yeah, without further ado, let's just hop in, chat about all the products I tried in September. Just have a fun time chatting about some makeup. First things first, the very first package I received slash thing that I tried was from Bella Beauty Bar. This was my first time trying the brand and I was super, super excited to try them out and I'm just very grateful that they sent me a package. This is the Celestial Garden Palette. This is in collaboration with Monica or M Jones 5018 on Instagram. I'm very excited about this collab and this palette has been so fun to play with. We have five delicious mattes, six beautiful shifty shimmers, and then we have two split pans of water activated liner so eight water activated liners total. I'm really digging the water activated liners being in here. I feel like they're very fun to play with and it makes me, I don't know, it feels very easy to just reach for these that they're already in the palette that I'm playing with. So this has been very fun. I'm very impressed with the brand's quality as well. I find the mattes to be really easy to work with, but the shimmers definitely steal the show for me. They are so shifty and magical. Really, really impressed with this palette. I did do a video with this on my Instagram and TikTok, and then I did also post to get ready with me playing with this in another palette that I'll talk about here soon on my channel already. So you can check that out if you need some inspo. I've been having a blast with this one. I think it's gorgeous. Next up, probably one of my absolute favorite things I've tried really this whole year. That is going to be my Blend Bunny Cosmetics Noctilucent Highlight Palette. This is absolutely amazing. I've worn this pretty much every day ever since I received it. I think it is so good. I'm wearing, I believe this shade right here in light. And I actually wear in light in a lot. I really like the gold flip that it leaves. I don't know, there's a lot of really pretty unique colors in here, but I do reach for that gold one a lot. This is so pretty. These are very translucent based highlights with gorgeous, gorgeous flips to them. They are so sparkly and so wonderful. If you don't like a sparkly highlight, this would not be for you. But if you're anything like me and you like colorful sparkly highlights, this is so good. I've been reaching for this nonstop. For sure, one of my favorite products I've tried all year. By the way, as always, I will have everything linked down below that I can, as well as any discount codes if I have any. Next up, Kaleidos released the Night of Creation collection. I've already done a full video on my channel and I also did separate Instagram videos slash TikToks with each of the quads. The packaging on these quads is killer. I absolutely love the theming with this whole collection. I think it is so, so cool. The first quad is the Flowing Haze. It's more of like plummy neutrals with a beautiful, beautiful duochrome. It is such a pretty shimmer. I wish all of their quads had a duochrome now that I'm spoiled with this one. And then the other quad is the Glowing Iris. Very beautiful, violety blue toned purples in here. Again, three mattes, one shimmer. Kind of wish this one was a duochrome to match the other palette, but it's okay. These also go really well together. I think they pair nicely. And as much as I do like the quality of the quads they've released this year, I wish that they would do more than just quads. Like I really hope this isn't all they're doing this year is just quads. I would love to see, really, I would love to see more Futurism six pan palettes, please and thank you. But just another palette in general. As much as I do like the quality of these, I love Kaleidos. I don't personally reach for quads that often, so I would love to see another like, regular palette from them, that would make me really happy. They also did release in that collection though, six beautiful multi-chrome eyeliner pencils. I love these. This is for sure my favorite part of the collection. The shades in order swatched out are Limelight, Night of Creation, Sea Sparkle, Seven Seas, Solaris, and Tourmaline. It's hard for me to even pick a favorite. I really like all of these. I've reached for them quite a lot. I mostly just stick with these in my waterline. I have used them a little bit in like a graphic linery sense, but it's not my favorite way to use these. So I do tend to just stick with these in my waterline. They last a really really, really long time on me and I've been really impressed with these. I'm going to continue reaching for these a lot. So these make me really happy. 
Next up, Sigma released the Alice in Wonderland collection, and it's really, really cute. I did use this on a full get ready with me on my channel, and I did play with the palette again on my Instagram and TikTok. First things first, we have a bunch of brushes. I really like Sigma brushes. I know that's like so normal to say everybody likes Sigma brushes, but I was very late on the Sigma train. I only just tried them for the first time like two months ago when they first sent me a package including some brushes, and I fully understand the Sigma hype now. I feel like all I wanna use are my Sigma brushes and I fully understand why people love them so much. First is the F47. I actually already own this brush and it's just absolutely wonderful for buffing out concealer or foundation. I mostly use it for concealer because I've been skipping foundation a lot and I'm not mad to have a second one because I use this pretty much every day. I also really like the handles on these. They're very, very pretty. I like this oil slicky iridescent kind of vibe. This is the F53. As you can see, it's been very used. I've been using this a lot lately for cream bronzer. I think it works really good for that. I like the stipply bristles. I find it just gets into all those crevices that I want the bronzer to be placed and it blends it out very, very softly. This is an E27. I use this brush almost every day. I actually already own one of these and I'm so thrilled to have a second one. I would not be mad to have like 20 of these. I use this all the time. My favorite way to use this is heavily packing that dark shade in the outer corner and kind of swirling it a little bit through the crease before I go in with a bigger, fluffier brush. This is such a good brush, one of my favorites ever. This is an E30, a really tiny kind of tapered pencil brush. I really, really enjoy this, and I thought I lost it when I was prepping for this video, but then when I grabbed all my Alice in Wonderland stuff just now, it was just here. So I'm glad I didn't lose it because I really like this pencil brush. And this is an E45. It's a very long, fluffy blending brush. I've been using this a lot just for a very light crease shade just to kind of get the ball rolling, add that little bit of transition when I'm blending out a dark shade. I think this works very nice. They are very soft brushes and I'm so impressed with them. And again, I feel like that just feels so silly to say because people have been raving about Sigma brushes for years and I just totally understand it now. <laughs> Next, there's this little cheek duo. It has a blush and a highlighter. Um, the blush is fine. I think it's a really cute blush. It blends out nice. It's a good shade. Uh, the highlight's okay. It's not really what I look for in a highlight personally. I like a little more sparkly sparkle, more of a blinding pop or a colorful highlighter. It's not a bad highlight, it's just a little basic for me. <laughs> this isn't a bad cheek duo, it's just by far not my favorite cheek products I've tried lately. And I do like their cheek products. I really like their Corda Rosa blush and I love their bronzer. I've been wearing their bronzer a lot again lately. It's so, so good. We have two lip products. I think these come together as a duo. So we have one liquid lipstick and one lip gloss. The liquid lipstick is actually a lip cream. It's more of a creamy texture. It doesn't dry down super matte like a traditional liquid lipstick. The lip cream is in the shade Kiss the Tulips and the lip gloss is Singing Violets. I really like both of these. I will say though, I wish Singing Violets, this color showed through more on the lips. It's very, very sheer. It doesn't look like this berry purple color so much on the lips. It's a very, very, very sheer down version, which most glosses are like that. And to be fair, I don't like a super opaque gloss, but in this case, I kind of wish that color showed through a little bit more. And then we have the actual Alice in Wonderland palette. I think this is beautiful. This was my first time ever trying Sigma shadows. And I've been so, so impressed. I think the shimmers are very rich looking on the lid and the mattes are so pigmented and they blend out so easily. I didn't expect the quality to be as nice as it is. For some reason in my mind, I was like, their eyeshadows are probably gonna be like my least favorite thing from them. I don't know why I thought that. I just assumed their like brushes and cheek products were where it was at. But no, their eyeshadows are amazing as well. I think they were really wonderful to work with. This palette also includes this dual ended brush that I've been obsessed with. I use this like every single day as well. The packing side's an E54 and the blending side is an E38. Just a really nice kind of blending brush, packing brush duo and I use it a lot. <laughs> Next up, Unearthly Cosmetics sent me a little package with a palette and some liners. I guess we'll first talk about these Immortality liners. I love these. I talked about these in my monthly favorites video. I think these are such beautiful liners to work with. I really like the wand. It's very like skinny, flexible, and just kind of glides onto the lid so, so nicely. Perfect if you want a wing or if you want to do graphic liner. The shades are Embers, Gem, Imperial, Searing, and Treasure. It's really, really hard to pick favorites. I really like Gem. I love this kind of blue-green flip. I really like Embers a lot as well, though. Embers is one of my other favorites. These are all so pretty. I cannot get enough of these. I think these are so fun to work with. And the palette is the Vitality palette. It is so, so pretty. I think it's so fun to play with. 
I did use this in an Instagram video slash TikTok. I wasn't able to get around to doing a full YouTube video with this, so sorry. Lots of things to film with, not enough hours in the day. But I did play with this over on my Instagram and TikTok and I think it's a lot of fun. I like that there's a mixture of these grungy colors but also fun pops. The shimmers are nice as well. I will say I don't know if these shimmers are as amazing as some of their other palettes. Like these are pretty, don't get me wrong, they're not bad shimmers. Just some of the other shimmers and some of their other palettes are really, really shifty sparkly, so I do crave that from them a lot, but these are fine as well. Next up, I got the most wonderful subscriber gift. Gigi, thank you so much. I've been loving these products and I'm so excited to share them with you, even though I've already raved about these 5,000 times. Most of these ended up in my monthly favorites video. First being this Ease Droplet All Over Glow Enhancer. Mine's in the shade Pink Pearl. I've been using this a lot as a primer lately and it's just so smooth feeling on the skin, very glowy. It's not like insanely glowy where it's gonna make you look overly dewy, but it does leave a really nice highlighted effect and I feel like it makes my skin feel really soft as well. I've been using this so much. And I'm really, really glad that I liked it because Fenty, like complexion products don't always like me. So I'm really happy that I like that. Next, I've been using this all the time. I'm using it today. It's the Lunar Beauty Nude Prism Blush Palette. I'm mad at myself that I skipped on it when it first released because I cannot get enough of this. I'm wearing Zay Zay today, but I've been wearing all of these colors. I think the only one I haven't worn is Kawaii, but that's just because I haven't really had the right look that called for that bright pink just yet. Um, but I love all of these shades. These two at the bottom I use the most. I think this is such a fantastic blush palette. Next is a highlight from REM Beauty. I had never tried REM Beauty before. This is in the shade Mama Earth. It's a really pretty minty green, like soft highlight. I actually have not worn this on my face yet. I've only swatched it, but it's just because this color, I haven't had the right look for it yet. I'm very much in grungy Halloween vibe mode, but this is such a pretty minty green and I'm really excited to try it out when the right look calls for it. I think I'm gonna use this a lot in the winter and in the spring and I'm just really excited about it. I think the packaging is really cute and I like the embossing on the highlight itself. And finally, the Fenty Heat Lemon Lava Plumping Gloss Balm. I love this, I'm wearing it today. I wear this most days, honestly. I think this is fantastic. We all know I love a sheer gloss with golden sparkle and this is it, but in a plumping form, I love it. It's that very warm, hot plumping feeling rather than the minty cold tingle. I think this is such a fun gloss and I wear it so often. I am probably making people bored with how often I wear this because it's it's just my favorite right now. It's so good. Next up, I got another package from Bella Beauty Bar and it is the Strange and Unusual palette. This is the other palette I paired with the Celestial Garden on my YouTube channel and I did also do a separate video on my Instagram and TikTok with this. This is beautiful. I love the grungy Beetlejuice vibes. There's beautiful pops of color in here. Again, the shimmers steal the show a thousand percent. It is so good. This did sell out pretty fast and then she ran two pre-orders which also sold out pretty fast. And as of right now, I think she said she's not planning on restocking it yet but if there's enough demand I think I saw she said she's gonna bring it back but as of right now it is sold out and that's so sad because a lot of people are gonna get down with this one but yeah I've been really enjoying this I'm really happy I have this in my life and so thankful she sent it to me next up milk makeup sent me their new future fluid concealer they sent me three shades and the one that I've been using is 3n I really like this for me it's kind of like a medium buildable coverage I feel like you could build it up to full but I don't go that ham with it I just hit up a little under my eyes and then spot conceal where needed and just call it a day. But I really like this, it's very creamy. I find I can blend this out very easily with both a brush or a sponge. And I've been liking it. I still think the Rare Beauty Concealer remains my favorite, but I've been really enjoying using this lately. And I really like the wand. It's like a weird pointy tip. <laughs> I really like it. It like tucks into little areas nicely. Next, Game Beauty sent their felt tip liners. These were in collaboration with Aki Dearest, who I was not familiar with before this collab. And I'm just super excited that Game Beauty did their first collab. I think that's so cool. The names are not listed on here, so I can't tell you exactly which name is which, but there's a black, more of a bright blue, and then more of a deeper blue. I like these. I can't say it's my favorite felt liner pen though, if I'm being honest. I find that like, I have to really like make sure I'm shaking it upside down to make sure a lot of product is flowing to the tip. And I can do one eye pretty well, but then I kind of have to set it aside, let it like refill almost, and then I can do the other eye. It doesn't stay super wet for a very long time. Uh, so that's really my only complaint. I like the longevity of it once it's on and I find the like applicator itself is nice. These just, 
I can't get very far with it before I have to kind of let it like recharge almost. They're not bad though. It's just not my absolute favorite felt liner formula. Next up, Nomad Cosmetics released their autumn palette. This is the Hudson Valley palette and I'm loving this. It's so pretty. This is such a perfect autumn palette. I love how they paired the warms with the cools and then that row of shimmers down the middle. It is so pretty. I am loving this palette. I think it is gorgeous to work with. Loving all these tones. I'm very much in the fall vibes right now and this palette couldn't have come at a better time. It's just so perfect for this time of year. I'm a big Nomad fan. I think their products are wonderful. Their mattes perform beautifully and I'm just super excited to see a new palette from them. I feel like they've been cranking palettes out lately too. Like I'm so curious how many more they have this year because in theory I'm like they probably have a winter release but I'm like who knows maybe they have like three more for the last three months of the year. By the way I did post a video on my channel with this of course as well as an Instagram video slash TikTok. Next up is my Freck Slime Light. They've sent me slime lights in the past and they recently asked me if I needed to restock anything so I let them know. I was like, I would love more of my Freck XL please because I'm running low on my Freckle products. So they sent me that and then they also sent me this shade that I didn't already own. I really like the slime lights. I think it's such a good like creamy highlight formula and I am so, so picky when it comes to cream and liquid highlighters because I feel like a lot of the time they either move my makeup around or they're just not as impactful as I'd like and they feel kind of pointless. These are wonderful. They blend nicely and they look wonderful on the cheeks. They are so colorful and so cool. I actually featured this in my autumn favorites and I did compare this to Laser Glazer. It's basically the cream version of Laser Glazer. If you want to see the comparison, go check out my autumn favorites video. But it's such a beautiful kind of bronzy green shift. It is so fun, so unique. I love this formula and I'm so, so happy to have this shade now. Next up, another new brand that I tried. This is from Gourmet Girls. This was their collab with Doodles by the Bunny, the Spooked palette, and I am so stoked about this. I did upload an Instagram video slash TikTok with this, and I plan on playing with this on my channel very soon. That video might be up by the time this video goes up, or it's coming very soon, so just stay tuned. It is literally Halloween in a palette. It is so fun, so festive, so cute and I am loving it. Doodles by the Bunny did such a good job designing this and I'm just so happy for her, so happy for the brand. I think this is so cute and I just love that we're seeing more and more Halloween releases over the years. It makes me so happy. Gourmet Girls also did send me two other palettes but I haven't had a chance to try them yet so I'll probably be talking about them next month whenever I get around to trying them. They're just like, beautiful, shimmery, sparkly, magical palettes, but I have been prioritizing like Halloween and fall palettes right now, so I am gonna get to those. It'll probably just be next month or the month we're currently in. It's still September as I'm filming this. Today is September 30th. It is the last day of the month, so I'm filming my roundup review today. <laughs> next up, Elf sent me a primer. This is the C Bright Putty Primer. It's a putty primer with vitamin C infused. I love the original putty primer. It's been a long time since I've repurchased it, and I honestly like the luminous one better, which is an unpopular opinion. Most people like the original original better. This one's fine. It honestly reminds me a lot of the original, but it's been a couple years since I tried the original last. I don't really have complaints. If anything, lately I've kind of combined this with the Fenty one, and I like the combo. This makes my skin feel really smooth, so I'm not mad at it. I don't know if it's like my favorite primer of all time, but I've been using it, and I'll probably just use it until it's gone. I placed a little Sephora order, mostly just for restocks, but a new thing I tried was another shade of that Lawless Gloss that I fell in love with last month after they sent me a package. This is the Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Line Smoothing Gloss in the shade George. Love the original one that I have, like cherry or cherry vanilla, something like that. It's so pretty. And I wanted one that was more this tone, this kind of mauve neutral vibe. It's super cute. I thought this would be really good for this time of year and I've been loving it. I've worn it so much lately. I love this formula and I might continue to pick up more shades over time. Fantasy Cosmetica came out with a new palette, the Bard palette. It is so stinking cute. I uploaded a two looks video on my channel and I also did post an Instagram video slash TikTok if you need some inspo. I think that Instagram video will be up before this video goes up that or it's coming soon. I'm not sure where on my schedule it's gonna go. I'm pre-filming a lot right now, so it will be coming if it's not already up. It's just so beautiful. If you know, you know, I love their Druid palette. It's one of my favorite palettes I've tried so far this year. I love the source as well and I am loving the Bard. I think I like the Bard more than the Sorcerer. Still doesn't take the Druid's place but I am obsessed with this. It is so pretty. I love just the combination of the warmth and the cool tones. Again, such a perfect fall palette. This has been such a blast to play with. Their shimmer formula is mind-blowing. 
I am just so happy for them and their newest release. I can't wait to see what else they do. Circling back to Lawless, they sent me a package soon after I placed my order for this little gloss here, um, including some brow products and a mascara. This is the One and Done Mascara. I've been enjoying it. As always, I am not the best mascara reviewer because I wear false lashes pretty much every day. My natural lashes are very straight and short and they don't hold a curl. So it's very rare when I'm like impressed with a mascara. Usually my criteria is just making sure they don't like clump into one big lash as long as they look super black and as long as they don't transfer on my skin throughout the day. And this does check all those marks. And I feel like it does separate my lashes really nicely. And for like two seconds, it holds a curl nicely, but then it just droops back down like my lashes always do. Uh, so yeah, I'm not really gonna wear this by itself ever, but I am enjoying it just to wear like on my lower lashes and to blend in with my false lashes. I think it's a nice mascara. I like the wand on it a lot. And then for brows, they sent over brow pencils and then they this uh, soft set creamy brow wax. The pencils I'm keeping around are Teddy Bear and Pecan. Teddy Bear's a little bit lighter, Pecan's a little bit darker, but they're very similar. So I figured I would just keep both of these so that I'd have plenty of time with both of them. It's funny because I haven't really been into pencils like forever, <laughs> but over the last few months or so, I've just picked up pencils here and there and I've been using those instead of a felt tip brow pen. I think I still prefer a felt tip brow pen, but a pencil is nice and it can be very fast just to like draw in some strokes, kind of fill in the general vibe of it and then go in with a brow gel. And I'm liking both of these. I find it to be very pigmented, but not like overly pigmented. It builds up really nicely. It's a really creamy formula as well. So I'm liking these. And then this creamy brow wax. Mine's in the shade medium slash dark. It's really, really like almost fun to use. I like this teeny little brush. I find I can just like wiggle it in and like really spread my brows out in down it kind of like molds and holds them where I want but I will say this doesn't really give me the like fluffy effect that my thick it stick it from NYX does let me find it right here my thick it stick it brow gel this one like really fluffs them up keeps them out and up because my brows want to hang down because they're so straight and stubborn but this also gives that very fluffy effect because this has the fibers in it this is more of a waxy formula it is a creamy brow wax if you will so this is more so just going to kind of mold them where you want, but this one gives me the fluffiness. So I've kind of been using both, which is very extra. You don't need both, but I kind of mold these where I want. And then I'll go in with this also and kind of fluff them up so that they actually have more fluffiness to them, if that makes sense. It's like a whole thing, but my brow routine takes like two seconds. I just kind of lightly fill in any gaps and then I just go in with my gels and call it a day. I don't do anything fancy. Lethal Cosmetics, Teresa is dead and Lethal Cosmetics collabed once again for the Teresa is Lethal collection. My video should already be up on my channel by the time this video goes up and I am gonna film an Instagram video slash TikTok but I don't think that'll be up until after this video because I go on my trip in just a couple days so I'm trying to pre-film as much as possible and I don't think I'll be able to get to that one until after I've returned but it will be coming up very, very soon. And when I say a couple days, I mean a couple days a long time ago because this video is pre-filmed as well like I'm already gonna be back by the time this video goes up I think first we have cheek products we have two blushes and two highlighters and I'm loving them so much the blushes are cryostasis and plan nine and the highlights are eviscerate and moon rock these are all so pretty I love that the blushes are kind of a glowy purple and then a glowy rosy tone that's just so cute and the purple is so fun to play with and then the highlighters we have just that beautiful frosty icy highlight with a really pretty kind of soft green golden highlight. It's so, so cute. I love Lethal's cheek products and I'm just so excited to see more from them. We have two of their like creamy gel liner situations. I like this formula a lot. It's very, very creamy and glidey and so, so easy to work with. These also stay put in my waterline personally pretty well. We have Galactic Goo and Harvested. Galactic Goo is a really pretty deep teal and Harvested is like a bloody red and it is so good. I love these colors. I feel like they're very unique and I'm super Super excited to add them to my collection. And of course we have the Teresa is Lethal palette. This packaging just makes me so happy. It's some of the cutest packaging in my whole collection. I love it. And the color story on the inside is so cute. We have six beautiful mattes and then three amazing shimmers. I'm so impressed with this bright silver TV dinner. It is so cool. And this is just such a fun color story. I feel like you can do so much with this and I'm just so incredibly
incredibly happy for both of them. I love Lethal's formulas. Teresa did such a good job on her first collab with them. And I'm just so excited that they got to do a round two because this is amazing. I'm so excited about it. And finally, wrapping it up, I feel like we've been here forever. <laughs> Last but not least is the new Game Beauty palette, the Cyberpunk palette. I am wearing this today. I filmed an Instagram video slash TikTok. I wasn't able to prioritize a YouTube video with this because again, I'm prepping for my trip right now. I have so much I have to film with right now. And I know there's a lot of things coming out soon that you don't know about yet that I also have to plan for. And this one just kind of came out of nowhere. So I wasn't able to prioritize filming a whole YouTube video with this yet at least. Um, I did film the Instagram video slash TikTok. I might play with this again in the future and like a get ready with me or something. But if you need some info, you can check it out over there. I really like Game Beauty's formulas. I really enjoy their palettes. This is their fifth one now. And this one's so fun. It might be my favorite color story they've done so far. I really love like these shades of blues with a bright yellow. That's kind of what I went for in my eyes today. And seeing all that together is so appealing to me. I love that combination of colors. And then we have the beautiful pinks and purples. We have these really cute shimmers over here. I really like the color story of this palette. I will say though, I have a couple nitpicky things with this one. There's two shades in here that are the mattes with sparkle pressed in them. I'm not as much of a hater on that anymore just because at the end of the day, the sparkle does just kind of dust away and it basically just looks like a matte, but it still irks me that it exists. Like why can't it just be a matte? Like either be a matte or be a shimmer because the sparkles don't really stick around anyways. And I'm also kind of bummed that they didn't include one of their really special shifty marbly shadows that they've included in some of their past palettes because those make me really happy. I'm gonna swatch one for you so you can see. And my Harbinger palette here, this shade Abyss, you see how it's all marbly and wonderful? Wait till I swatch it because it truly looks that dimensional like on the eyes as well. So here we are. Like just look at how cool that is. It's so like weird and shifty and I would have loved to see that in this palette too. It's like one of my favorite formulas from them. I think they do it really well. So I'm kind of bummed not to see one of those shades in here, but I'm not mad at the shades that are in here, if that makes sense. I think the shimmers they did include are really pretty. They're very rich. They have a nice shine to them. I just wish they had that magical marbliness, at least one of the shades. But for the most part, I'm really happy with this. I think it's a very fun color story, very bright very poppy. I feel like it's fun to play with. So I'm really happy to see a new palette from them because I think the last time they released this one was in October last year, if I'm not mistaken. So it's been a hot minute and I'm happy to see something new. And that wraps it up for this roundup review. I don't even know which number this is. I've been doing these videos since like the beginning of probably 2020, if I had to guess, maybe mid 2020. I don't even remember. I've been doing these for a while though. And I always love kind of recapping, giving you my thoughts on everything. And I always love hearing your thoughts as well. Have you tried any of these products that I mentioned? Do you want any of them? What are your favorite things you tried last month if you tried anything new? If you made it to the end of this video, hmm. You know, why don't you leave some Halloween emojis? Cause we are in Halloween. I've been uploading every single day in October. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel out a lot. And if you're not already, you can follow me on my other socials. You can join the Baddie Bean fam. I am Baddie Bean on everything, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. And if you aren't already, you can subscribe if you wanna see more of my videos. Again, I'm posting every single day in October. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, bye. I feel like the sun does not wanna make up its mind. Like either stay behind the clouds or don't. Stop flip-flopping. <laughs>